Welcome to the Top Gun channel where you're about to enter the danger zone of all food, drink, and other assorted reviews. I don't need these. I'm looking at a screen. And today, I wanted to do an unboxing from um, the church I go to. Um, found out I got there and they provided me a box for Christmas so I thought that was pretty cool so I'm gonna go ahead and do this unboxing video for you guys um, and I'm really excited to try this out because or not really try out but just show you all the different things I got so let me lift up this box real quick and I'll show you how big it is it is huge mm. look at that that's a big box Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through individual things, show them to you. So this video might be a little longer than what you're anticipating. I had to move some stuff over so I could actually get closer to the camera here. Okay, so the first thing that they provide in the box. Oh, there's a little bit of a light glare too. Is some instant oatmeal. And these are good to have when you are on the run. You know, you don't want to take a long time to get through anything. You don't want to take a long time with, um, you know, trying to make food. This actually would do really well, especially if you're trying to get to work. Uh, this is a really quick and easy thing to do. So can't wait to try that out. Another thing that's good to have for like a snack, maybe if you want to bring it to um, bring it to work, you know, you got the chewy oat and honey uh, granola bars. These are good for like protein and that type of thing. So I'll definitely be using these quite a bit too. Pretty much everything in this box I'll be I'll be using. So and then next. I'm going to do some reviews on these things too. So, um, next we have is the pink salmon um, from Bear and Wolf. Premium skinless, boneless, wild Alaskan salmon. And it's a pink flavor. So, that's going to be cool to definitely try that. I've always liked the taste of salmon. So, um, this should be interesting. What else we got? Got um, albacore tuna in water from Chicken of the Sea. Um, I like the design they put on there. How they have the mermaid and all that. And they're always doing something different um, with what they sell. And uh, it's nice to see the different tuna in water. They also have, I think, like a tuna in oil or something like that. But I'm not exactly sure. <laughs> that. I got some peanut butter. Can't go wrong with creamy peanut butter. It's always good for ma making sandwiches. I tend to make a lot of peanut butter sandwiches, so it'll work for me. Next, we have a bag of um, uh, pinto beans. This is a Kroger product, which I thought was pretty cool. I always tend to shop at Fred Meyers. And, um, so, obviously, we have these at Fred Meyers too, because Kroger and Fred Meyers, I believe, are the same. So, um, these are really good to make for like dinners. Uh, let's see what else we got here Swiss Miss chocolate, hot chocolate with marshmallows. Those are good for on a really cold day. Um, Swiss Miss is actually really good. Uh, this has is now with 25% more marshmallows, so you're not just getting a little bit. You know, you're actually getting quite a bit. So almost brings back the kid and everybody. And we have a a thing of instant oatmeal. It's another one of those things you can take to work or you know, school, whatever you decide to do. 
And this one says it's uh, maple brown sugar. Yes, so it's probably going to have that really sweet sugary flavor that everybody enjoys. Let's see, another chicken of the sea. This one is premium tuna in water. Same thing, it's just, a, you know, they did a little different. Like I said, they always come up with different ones, so. Okay, and then next we have the cup, uh, cup noodles. This is the chicken brand. Oh, this is the chicken flavor one. So this one's the chicken flavor. I believe I did a kimchi flavored one, which was pretty cool. These do have a lot of MSG and all that stuff in them, but you know, if you want something quick, it doesn't hurt to, you know, have one of these every now and then. Um, but, I, cause I've always enjoyed the flavors of these, but they always say it's not good to have a lot of MSG or anything, but you know, one is, I don't think it's going to hurt you or anything like that. And there, are, there is also a lot of salt in it too. So, um, make sure you guys watch out for that. If that's what you're trying to do. Uh, let's see. I'm glad we got, uh, two things of boneless ham, uh, boneless cooked ham at water added. And this pro is a product of Canada. They, get, they provided two of those. So if you always have like more than one person in there, you know, you have the ability to cook them both. Definitely helps out when you, when it becomes a last minute thing. Let's see. Look like we got some scallop potatoes from Idahoan. And then they also got a whole bunch of other different ones you can choose from too. Like they have the applewood smoked bacon, loaded potato, a gratin. I've had the au gratin one. The au gratin is really good. Triple berry muffin mix is one of those things that a lot of people like to make muffins. Um, just this bag can make up to six muffins total. So everybody gets, whenever you get into the baking mode. Uh, and then we have the Indian lentils. I've had lentil before. I don't know which one it was, but I might actually try this one out because um, it says it's supposed to have a mild flavor. It's a vegetarian, non-GMO, gluten-free. Has red beans and spices simmered in a creamy tomato sauce. And you only have to microwave, microwave it for 60 seconds, so I might actually do that one. And we have some country-style baked beans. They always have different one. Bushes always has different flavors. Um, I've liked almost every one of their brands. The, the country-style um, is one of them. I haven't had in quite some time, so it would be nice to try this one out for sure. So it's got about 9... It's 98% uh, fat-free and is high in fiber, so... Everybody's favorite, Spam. Uh, a lot of people make sandwiches out of this. Um, I don't think I've had Spam at all, so trying this out is going to be interesting as well. I'm probably going to make it like a sandwich like it does there. Um, or you can also add it to your macaroni like it shows there. I think we got a couple container. Oh, we got one container of macaroni and cheese dinner from Betty ba Betty Baker, and then we also have a cheeseburger macaroni hamburger helper. These are always good because a lot of people tend to make these quite a bit. Uh, box of Kellogg's raisin bran, good for also cereals.
uh, to have in the morning. Uh, let's say penne, penne regat. These are like um, mac a macaroni product with a hundred percent, made with a hundred percent. Uh, yeah. They're just pretty much a noodle you can use as a macaroni. That's mostly what I've seen people use them for, is for macaroni and stuff, so. And we got a case, or a can of uh, Classico sun-dried tomato sauce. Uh, this is good for, like, when you're making spaghetti or anything that requires a tomato. This would be good to have. Uh, let's see. Beef ravioli from Chef Boyer D. Uh, these are good for on the go as well. Um, I would say if I was... I would probably stock my um, shelf up with these. Just because of the fact they're easy to make. You only have to microwave them for so long. Um, so they would definitely help out. For um, what I call a cheap dinner, which is not bad. You know, you want to have something that's that you can have at least have at the house, so that way you're not going out all the time. So I'm just amazed with how much stuff is in here. A can of mixed greens from Early Garden. Uh, this has a mixture of cut and shortcut total, and it looks like you only have to. Heat it up for about two to three minutes on the microwave with a micro microwavable safe bowl. Um, so yeah, this is another one of those quick, easy things you can do. So you're not having to use a, another pan. You can actually just throw these in the microwave into a bowl. Um, jar of strawberry preserve for making sandwiches. Um, I've always liked peanut butter and jelly sandwich when I was little. Let's see. A can of Nolly Original Chili. These are good. They have a lot of different brands too. And they have flavored ones you can have. Um, but this is, you just throw this into a microwave and heat it up. Um, another one of those things you can have stocked in your fridge or your covered for quite some time which is nice have something to have while you're trying to get through the day and a small container of Vienna sausages um, these you have to acquire a taste to because I've I've tried Vienna sausages and they're pretty good so some people don't like the texture of them but I actually do I like them Then we got a reduced sodium progresso savory chicken and wild rice. Good for like when it's really cold outside or you're trying to get over a, some sort of a sickness. That's good to have. Um, always good to keep these on hand for that. So, and a lot of these it says on here, it says contains soy ingredients. So, um, it's one of the things you have to look out for. Some people could be allergic to soy, so. And then we got a can of Orchard Natural, Orchard Naturals uh, fruit cocktail and heavy syrup. Um, another way of getting your fruits. Um, heavy syrup is probably gonna make it really, really sweet. So um, it's good to always choose the different ones you want. And this one says the ingredients is diced pears, diced peaches, water, grapes, corn syrup, high fructose corn syrup, pineapple sectors, have cherries, artificially colored red with carmine and sugar. And that's pretty much all that's in here. Those are good for when you have it for dinner as well. And we have the Oregon Trail. Finest quality cranberry, uh, cranberry jellied sauce. This is good for like 
turkey, that type of thing. Um, pretty much any Thanksgiving dinner is pretty much what it's good for. And then the Santiam Premium Quality Golden Sweet Whole Kernel. Uh, whole Kernel Corn. Uh, these would go good for pretty much any dinner as well. So That is the unboxing for what I got. I know it's a long video. Sorry about that. I just wanted to share this with you guys. I just think it's awesome that they're willing to take the time to do that. Um, and with it being the holidays, it definitely helps out too. So, um, yeah, I'm definitely going to be using a lot of this stuff. So, I want to thank you all for checking out this channel. Be sure to like, share, comment, and support. If you have any other suggestions you'd like me to do, leave them down in the comments. Also, just drop a comment and let me know what you thought of the video, your thoughts on it. Um, I'm always responding to everybody, so thank you all for doing that. Um, and be sure to have a safe holiday and Happy New Year. Um, I have a lot of new videos coming up for you guys, so definitely stay tuned for that. And until next time, everyone, let's kick the tires and light the fires, because I feel the need for speed. Hashtag love thy neighbor.